Hello besties, before we get into the video, I just wanted to remind you really quick if you wanted to place any merch orders for this holiday slash Christmas season, get your orders in now. The Christmas cutoff date for the majority of the items in my merch store is December 9th. So if you wanna get, for example, the amazing Merry Frogmas design in time for Christmas, order it as soon as possible. I believe there's only a handful of coloring books left, so I would recommend to snag one like sooner rather than later. And if they do sell out before you can nab one, don't worry, they will be restocked but probably after the holiday season so thank you so much for all of the love and support on the coloring books it has been an absolute dream so thank you guys so so much and uh yeah let's get into the video now my friends we are doing it we are playing animal crossing <laughs> Well, I say we're finally playing it as if I've stopped playing it for like 50 years, but no, I've just uh, been sporadically playing more like. So anyway, we're gonna get to work today. Ah, ah, no, don't come close to me. <sighs> I can't believe we had to start off the Let's Play with seeing Violet. I... I'm gonna cry. But hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another video. So today my goal is to just do a bunch of builds. As you can see I'm a little bit ahead in the time traveling game. We're on December 8th and we've got some of the Christmas decor and stuff like that. The island's looking pretty dead but I want to do my annual decorating my island for Christmas video and I came across an issue in my Halloween decorating video which was I barely have any builds. And honestly, as I'm walking through the island, I'm like, I have barely decorated this poor island. I feel like I don't have any houses to deck or to like replace things, you know, because they're all like empty. Poor Molly is out here just like with absolutely nothing around her. I barely have houses decorated, so I want to get some stuff filled in. I want to get some builds going so that we have actual areas to, um, you know decorate but anyway i'm just picking up around here because we are going to decorate nook's cranny first but today honestly i'm just going to see how many builds i can do in one day it might end up being two maybe one maybe we end up doing five i have no clue i have zero plan except for one idea for nooks but it's like barely an idea anyways i'm just like decorating nooks like i would decorate like a store you know it's gonna be like a grocery store <laughs> so let's just get right into it i'm gonna start working on nooks because uh it's about time that our nooks cranny has some decorations am i right basically my idea is just to decorate it like a grocery store like i said i don't know why i have this line of dirt here i'm gonna get rid of this i just went ahead and grabbed some items went and customized things because i have a general idea of like not necessarily the layout but like the colors and like the items that i want to use so i have like like half a plan basically i'm gonna keep this tree here i feel like that's nice i like it there but i want to go ahead and set up kind of like my general idea that i have so first of all i want to have some storefronts i customize a bunch of them to be yellow to match nooks i mean of course i think that was a no-brainer i customized three I have like a lot more storefronts that I could use if I want to use like a ton more, but I don't know how many I necessarily want to use. I don't know. I feel like if it's on the side like this, I don't like this gap that's right here. Like what is this gap? I'm going to try pushing it behind Nook's Cranny and just a little bit over so we fill in this gap. Something like that instead. And then I'll just fill in the rest just to make like a little wall. I am thinking we need a floor. Oh, I have like no floors. <laughs> okay. I kind of want to do that brick path. Let me go grab that really quick from the Nook Stop. <sighs> Re like uh, really thankfully i have enough nook miles for this i truly don't really spend my nook miles that much um so let's see yeah i was thinking the brick one or there's the stone one or the terracotta one or this wooden one hmm i kind of like the wood one actually yeah i think i want to go with this and if i don't like it we can always come buy another one and i'm gonna go ahead and start putting this all over oh yeah i really like this because it kind of matches the little wood that's there on the side of nooks so okay yeah this was a perfect choice i'm not sure how close i want to bring this to the dark dirt path that's here we've got a lot of in-game pathing going on like look at all of this we got like three different kinds <laughs> i guess let's just start decorating first and then we can kind of figure it out actually i'm gonna push these and put one more row up top so it's kind of like a little bit underneath of these there we go that looks a lot cuter in my opinion as i start filling this up with items i'm like wait i have way less space than i thought i was going to i got these store shelves and i wasn't sure what color to make it there was only two like wood variations it was either really light wood or really 
really dark. So I picked the really dark, but I was thinking these could go on the side here. And then we can fill up this like little strip over here that's kind of like empty with some barrels and stuff. Actually, I'll probably just do one barrel because if I fill all of this up, you won't be able to see that there's items blocking your path right here behind the tree. So we'll just leave this. I'm also going to use this counter table. And I also made this dark wood to match the store shelf. So I think it does work out when I use both. This is something that I saw in one of my recent Dream Island tour videos where they put this little item in front of the storefronts. And I loved it so much. So I was like, oh, I have to do that. I would say this could be the checkout counter, but I don't have a cash register. I don't know if I have one in my catalog either. We'll have to see. I have this little wooden box and I made this green because I thought this could match the little bottom piece of the storefronts, even though they're kind of different shades, but hey, just to bring in some more green, you know? And I put the little fruit thingy on it, very cute, even though I'm pretty sure we have this exact item over here somewhere. Oh, yes, but in a different color. Okay, so it's different. It's fine. <laughs> I actually think I'm going to pull these forward, like, all the way to the edge. And then in this little corner, I'm going to put more of, like, storagey things, piles of boxes and stuff like that. Like, this is all of their shipment stuff. We'll do a little cardboard box, kind of like sticking out. Super cute. I want a few more like little items. We can put something on this box. We can put something here. So let's go see what I got. The only cash register I have is an antique cash register for 21,000 bells. Are you serious? I guess we'll do it. Um, I gotta go get some money out of the bank, but sure. Honestly, I feel like it's kind of aesthetic. I kind of love the vibe. Okay, I got the cash register ordered. Now I'm going to take a little scroll through my storage, see what we can pull out to finish off that little section, and I'll meet you back at Nooks. I'm actually going to do these little fresh food trays of fish right here. I thought that would be cute. And then on this little box, I'm not sure. I kind of wanted to do these coffee beans, but that kind of disappears. <laughs> Plus it's green on green. Hmm, let me try the fresh fruit, not fruit, oh my goodness, the fish on here. Maybe this will look a little bit better. I do, I do like that. I do like that. Okay, let's put the coffee bag on here instead, the coffee beans. There we go. Okay, I'm really liking this. Just like little general store type of feel. So I do need to get the cash register. We'll have to time travel for that. I also wanted to see if we could give a little bit of an extra roof. I don't know. We're trying to do some layering here. That's, that's the thing that we're trying to do. Layering. So I have these covered counters. Honestly, I kind of really like that. It's just like really simple. And when you're looking at it from like this perspective, it's just that one teeny tiny little line. I kind of love it. I kind of love it. Okay. Just for something extra for the layers, you know. So I do have to order one more then because I only had two. So we got to order another one of those. Let me just do it now because otherwise I'm going to forget. That is honestly what I've been trying to do like in real life lately because <laughs> I feel like I get so distracted doing a million things, especially like cleaning and stuff like that. We need more bells, of course. Like I'll see something and I'm like, oh, I could go put this away really quick. But I'm like, no, no, no. Focus on what you're doing right now. But I'm like, okay, you know what? Just do it now because otherwise you're going to forget. So I'm like, okay, I go put away my jewelry really quick and then I come back and I continue organizing the living room or whatever I was doing. Or if I suddenly remember like, oh, you need to go send that email. Usually I would tell myself, oh, just send it in a second. Finish up what you're doing. Like you're editing right now. Like don't go send an email. But lately I've been like, no, 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 Raven, just go send it because otherwise you're going to completely forget. <laughs> it's been working kind of well, but I also feel like I start to go on tangents a little bit. Like I'll go send the email instead of editing. And then while I'm sending the email, I see a new one in my inbox. So then I start replying to that and then I see another email about like some sale and I'm like oh I should go look for a Christmas present on this website they're having a sale and then I start like going down a rabbit hole of like oh wait I need to get Christmas gifts <laughs> like I start going down those rabbit holes and then suddenly it's been an hour later and I'm like oh yeah I'm supposed to be editing right now but the alternative is I completely forget to send that important email you know so at least the important things are remembered and they are getting accomplished, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, we have this little section right in front of Nooks. I don't know what to do with this blank section. I was thinking we have these like wood partitions. I could maybe throw some of these down. I don't know. I kind of don't like it. Okay, but regardless of what we put here, of course, we're going to need some custom designs. So I'm going to put those down first before we start getting into all of this. I was actually thinking some log stakes could be cute. Excuse me like out of all my villagers it has to be you it really has to be <sighs> patience 
calm. Anyways, I forgot what I was saying about the log stakes, but I kind of like how they're looking here. I don't know, it's like kind of simple and you can still access the drop off box, you know? And then in front of it, we can do some little flowers. Oh no, not dark dirt. <laughs> we cannot do this. Wait, we can't do dark dirt and we can't do this dirt. What am I gonna do? I can't put dirt? I can't just not put dirt. I guess we just won't do dirt. It's one of the saddest moments of my whole life that I can't do dirt right here. Wow. I'm gonna steal some daisies over here. I'm gonna do yellow mums and I'm gonna do daisies. I feel like that's really cute. <sighs> really, really. There we go. I think that's pretty cute. You know, simple but cute. And then I was thinking we could just do this. Like we could just extend this just to take up the rest of that space. Oh, why don't we try doing these steps? I think this would make more sense if it matched this wood thing. Wait, wait, why am I dumb? Why am I dumb? We just extend the wood. We d That's all we do. That's all we do. We extend the wood. This is much better. This is much better. <laughs> we actually can go in with some custom designs here and there if we would like to. You know how grocery stores or like random restaurants will sometimes just have like birds inside and you're like, what the heck? Why are there birds? Yeah, that's what's happening here. So there's some random birds in the grocery store. Oh, we can put something on this barrel. What do we have? Let's just throw something on here. I have this glass jar full of like pasta or something. That'll work. That'll work perfectly fine. Now, I don't know what I'm gonna put in front of Nooks, to be honest. Um, I'm thinking I want to do some bushes. Let's incorporate a little bit more nature. We're doing good with the flowers, you know, let's keep it going. Okay, I slightly have an idea, I think. Hopefully I can pull this off without having to cover the drop-off box, but we'll see. Okay, yeah, I might have to cover the drop-off box. So my idea is to use some of those uh, turkey day like display stands. I know they're not like super farm core, but I thought they would be pretty cute And I figured that we could have these here and we could have these as like a little seasonal type of decoration thingy So we can put like whatever kind of seasonal decorations like right now since we're not really doing Christmas yet I'm gonna do these wheat decor things. I think it adds a nice little touch you know like everything else on the island is like so rustic it's like please let me have, let me have some like nice things on here you know what I mean <laughs> Violet why do you have to exist? why? I might just do bushes right in front instead. This might be cute. And then just to fill in the space, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of this custom design path and that'll pretty much be it. So what I was thinking for this little empty area was this little sign. I thought this would be super cute. And I customized this to have the... <sighs> Can we not? Can we... Can we really not? Like, anyways, I, this, this, the apple sign, the apple sign, let's focus on the apple sign and breathe, you know? I thought this would be cute, you know? We've got like a little bit of a fruit farmer's market over here, you know? Yep. She's literally walking back and forth. Uh, look at her. She's literally just walking back and forth in front of the area to taunt me. She's literally just taunting me. I can't, I can't do this right now. I really can't. Anyways, I'm just gonna push this shopping bag over just a little bit, just like that. And I think we're all good for Nooks. This came out so cute. I, I really love this. I honestly thought we didn't have that much space to work with and I thought it wouldn't be, oh, Oops. <laughs> I thought it wouldn't come out that great, but this came out so cute. So I'm going to go ahead and time travel. We'll get those last two items that I need just to finish this up and we'll be done with nooks. Okay, I've got the little covered counter. We're just going to slide this right in here. So that is all finished up and we're going to throw the cash register down as well. Yes, it's facing me. I am too lazy to put it the other way. It's fine. And our little bushes are growing in. We'll probably end up time traveling more, so we'll probably be able to see those grown in. But yeah, there's our nooks. Now, I don't know what to do. I mean, it would make sense to decorate the museum, I would say. So I guess we could try to work on that. I really don't know what to do. Look at the little amount of space that we have for the museum. I have I have no clue. I guess I'll start by picking up all the mess, clean this up, get this ready to go. Okay, so everything is mostly cleared. I just gotta work on these trees. I think I am gonna pick all of them up just because I don't know really what I'm doing yet. I also totally forgot that this little secret pond is back here. So we have to have some sort of like pathway leading to this. I do think I'll leave the tree in the back actually and I will get rid of this pesky rock. Okay, since I'm totally winging everything, 
Um, I have zero plan, so I just grabbed a whole bunch of random items and we're gonna see if we can make something work. We're just gonna like slap things together and hope for the best. So I was thinking we could kind of do more of a gardeny museum as like a callback to my, oh my goodness, the name is escaping me, my 30 day island. What is that aesthetic called? Garden core? No, Fla flower core? No. What the heck is it called? Spring core. Oh my goodness. That oh, that felt like a light bulb in my head kind of moment. I thought we could do kind of like a more gardening, more natural kind of museum as a callback to that and also because I don't know what else to do. So I customized this to have like the blue and purple flowers to match the roof. So I think I'm going to stick that there, but of course I would like to put some custom designs first. Let me start this bad boy back up. There we go. Cute little uh, custom design path just to make that pop. I also customized a few of these street lamp with banners and I did brown just to keep with the kind of, you know, <laughs> rustic brown aesthetic we've got going for everything. So hopefully that's not too much brown over in this section, but the museum is pretty like white and like kind of fancy looking. So I was like, okay, we need, we need to tone it down a little bit here, you know? Let's see if I can put some sort of custom design underneath of this. That would be nice. I've been liking putting these like wood grates. Oh, I think that's going to work perfectly. So I did the little wheat design just because I, I didn't have anything else to put. Nothing else looks good. So I just did that, even though it doesn't make sense. There's not going to be wheat inside the museum, but we're just going to roll with it. I also figured a windmill, a classic, you know, you can never go wrong with one. And I thought it would kind of tie into the blue a little bit so we can stick Stick this back here somewhere. Let me put some custom designs down first, of course. I'm gonna have that just right there. That'll be cute. This is feeling a bit dull. I mean, the grass is very not green this time of year, but I am gonna go in with some. Ha oh, <laughs> I thought that. <laughs> I thought the hedges were gonna be bright green and I was gonna go in with some green, but no, they <laughs> they are actually not bright green. That's fine, that's fine. You know, they'll be green in the summer. <laughs> this is kind of random, but I thought that we could have a phone box. Like this could be like the payphone, like pretend this is like a payphone and you know, this island is so old and rustic that they still have a payphone. Oh my goodness. And this is like the town phone that like everyone comes to use. It's like by the museum. Anyways, I'm going to make sure that our little secret path back here is kind of like a little bit obvious, a little bit visible. I also need to make sure that we can actually get over here because I can't just jump. So I might actually do this before I forget. <laughs> I'm going to make a little stepping stone so we can get over there. Just super quick. Just takes like two seconds. There we go. I guess we should work on the secret floating island next. That could be our next build. Okay. I do love that we're making progress. Like I feel like it is so sad to not have like nooks and the museum decorated, you know? So I'm, I'm glad to, to finally do all of this stuff. I would like one singular wheat field to go right here. I don't think I have any, to be honest. I might have to steal one from myself. Oh my goodness, what? There was a wheat field here? I had no clue. You can't even tell. Wow. And let's put our totally legitimate non-stolen wheat field right here in this little section. I'm also going to stick a little cruiser bike right in here because I feel like it's the perfect... I don't know, it's like the perfect item to go right there. So I put a little mud puddle underneath and then this still gives us room to run back to our secret area. Some blue flowers would be a really nice touch, but <laughs> your girl does not have blue flowers. Instead, I guess we can do some tulips and we'll just use these to fill up this little tiny, tiny section right here. I'll probably end up replacing these eventually once I actually do get blue flowers because I feel like that will really look like actually super cute. <laughs> and let me try to clean up some of these flowers so it's not you know, blocking our view. Like, this is just making it look so messy. Like, come on, Raven, clean up your freaking island already. This is so embarrassing, Raven. Like, come on, you make YouTube videos. Everyone's watching, right? like, everyone is seeing this right now. Like, come on. Okay, you know what? It's not my fault. My pockets are constantly full. So anyways, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm going to put a bunch of weeds in here and hopefully these will grow and kind of like fill the area a little bit because I don't think I'm going to put any more items here. I do want it to be kind of easy for you to walk through if you want to go see this little hidden island thingy majiggy that we've got going. I'm feeling this little stone stool. I don't know. It's just the vibe right now. And then for the entrance, I'm going to see if this looks weird. I think I kind of like it. 
I think I dig it. Oh, custom designs. Wait, we need a few more custom designs sprinkled around on the road here. We'll do some little birdies. Can can we do a puddle? Like, are we allowed? Puddle in the middle of the road, because why not? Also, if you haven't been around, ignore this bright green stuff. I, I'm saving my island in summer, okay? So this will make sense when it's summer. Right now, we're playing through the season, so it looks bad. I know, it I know. It's right next to my flower mess. So don't judge me too much, okay? Listen, when I clean up my island, it looks nice. Look at look at this. Reminder, reminder, we did a beautiful nook's cranny, okay? I also thought it would be kind of fun to have like a little retro transportation stop kind of over here in this little, I don't know, what is this, this like armpit section? I grabbed a blue one. I thought the blue could tie into the museum. I'm gonna work on this next. So what I'm gonna go do is I'm gonna go root through my storage and I'm gonna see if I can scrounge up some items to use for this. Maybe get some ideas, some inspo. Punchy good sir. Sir. I don't think this is a move out because I saw him earlier. Oh wait, no, but we time traveled. I'm not speaking to him. I'm. We're not on speaking terms right now. Anyways, I will catch you in a bit after I have some ideas. Okay, hello. It is a little bit later. I took a pretty big break. I went and made dinner, ate dinner, played a little bit of games, and now I'm back. So I did have an idea. So I was thinking we can make this island kind of like a little magical, mysterious kind of island. I got stuff like the glowing moss. I was gonna include like maybe the glowing moss pond if we can fit it in. We got a log with some mysterious mushrooms on it. We're gonna do pink flowers. We're gonna have butterfly models all kinds of stuff like that. It's just a matter of what I can fit on here, to be honest. So my first idea was to make this swinging bench the center and you kind of like sit here and then you have like a pretty area and this is like a little picture spot, you know? My second idea was to have this like bell thingy, which is kind of cool. And I'm pretty sure you can place something inside of it. Yes, you can, which is pretty cool. So we could do something fun with that. Of course, there's the glowing moss pond, but this takes up a good chunk of space. So not sure if I want to do that. Not quite sure. I also want to put some trees. So we got to figure out where we can actually place some trees. Can I even put one right here? Okay, I can. Well, I guess I guess we're going with that then because I'm not going to dig that back up. I guess I'll do another one over here. That should be fine. All right, I do think I know what we're going to be doing here. So I'm going to start with some custom designs in the back and I'm going to put some party lights right behind just like this. And then I think I am going to go with the swinging bench after all. It's going to be slightly off center. So we're going to put it all the way back here right up against those party lights. And then this little uh, well fits back here. So I'm gonna stick this back here. It looks really cute. Then I'm gonna put a flower back here. We're gonna go with a little bit of pink because I'm not really gonna use pink flowers that much on my island. So I do wanna sprinkle them in where I can, you know? I'm gonna go with this mush parasol and we're gonna stick this, I guess all the way in that corner like that. I'm gonna stick a little mush log right here next to the bench. And I think I want to put some sort of little food item on there. So we'll have to come back once I get a little food item. Um, over on this side, I think let's do another flower. Let's do a Cosmo over here. Then I just put down some leaves and I'm going to put this Grand Atlas moth model. I need to be sprinkling in some of this glowing moss. This is, oh, Oh yeah, that definitely adds to the vibe tenfold. I guess we could do one on the stepping stone here and then we could get rid of this middle one and we could put some glowing moss instead. Ooh, like it's like a little preview. <gasps> That's perfect. I'm gonna put some little birdies over on the corner and I'm gonna do a mush lamp right here. Over on this side, I'm gonna do a little puddle and then I've got a little ducky model. We're gonna stick him right here looking off the shore. So cute. And I think lastly, we're gonna go with a simple common butterfly model right here. I'm gonna do maybe one or two more custom designs here. Like I might do some more of these little rocks. I think this is absolutely precious. I love this so much. So that is build number three done for today. So I think let's do one more. Let's work on that little corner. I have the motivation. I have the motivation. Let's just do it. Oh, by the way, I uh, put this little gyroid right here. I thought he was really cute to go with the museum with the blue roof and everything. So he's there now. He will break your kneecaps if you don't give him pizza crust. Okay, so we have this very weird like triangle shape of like empty grass. Well, it's not empty right now. We have a flower issue currently, but we will take care of this. 
I'm going to go ahead and scoop all of these up and, and I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to be honest with you, besties. I'm going to pause the recording and I'm going to go watch a YouTube video while I do this because I hate digging up flowers so much. So I'll see you in just a second. Hey, I'm back. I went ahead and time traveled a bit and I got some items as you can see here. And I still don't really have a plan for this area, TBH. I want this to be like a transportation stop. I don't know what they got out here. I don't know if it's a rickety old bus or just a horse and buggy. I don't know. I don't know, but this is the stop where you wait. So I'm just putting some more of those little grates underneath. And then I went ahead and ordered this OK Motor sign to be like the little bus stop sign. I thought that was pretty cute. I'm just going to put some little rocks right here. Actually, I do think a wooden storage shed would be cute here. Maybe with this darker wood so it matches the bus stop a little bit better. You know what? Okay, earlier we were going back to the 30 day challenge roots, my spring core roots. You know what I did on my spring core island whenever I couldn't think of something to put in an area? I would simply fill it with flowers and I think that's what we're gonna do here. My brain is kind of fried. I've already done three builds today. So we're gonna do a good old flower field just to end us off and i'm gonna go in with this fencing because i feel like this matches the retro transportation stop a little bit and i'm gonna do another tree right here just for some height and then i am gonna try to contain this flower field a bit i do not want this to be spreading everywhere so i will put fencing slash items so that we kind of like make a little enclosed area for it you know what i mean i just realized that i picked up all those flowers just for me to be like <laughs> let's add a flower garden like i literally didn't even have to pick up the flowers well what kind of flowers do we do i don't know i feel like let's do some color we have like a lot of brown up there stuff like that so let's do a yellow flower field i feel like that'll be really cute so i'm gonna do a yellow mom there and then i'm gonna to do some tulips kind of going horizontal no is this horizontal i don't i don't know but you'll see the vision you'll see the vision <laughs> you see what i mean we got mum then tulip then mum then tulip and it's going across just like that so i gotta go grab more but yeah that's kind of the idea i would just like to say once again I am very excited to get all of these little areas finished. Like, it feels so, so satisfying. So I'm really glad that we can work on this together today. Like, thank you so much for tuning in. I very much appreciate it. Okay, there we go. All finished. I am missing two tulips. I need one in that little spot back there. And I need one in the very corner right here. But I'm literally out of tulips on my whole freaking island. I already stole three tulips from various places. So I'm going to have to wait for some to duplicate or something or just get some more at some point. But I'm going to put a cute little custom design right on this little spot right here. Let's do some little bricks. Those are cute. And then everywhere that I can reach, I'm gonna put my <laughs> clear custom design because these flowers are not duplicating on my watch. I am not having that disaster again. I'm just gonna do a little weed clump right there. And then we can squeeze in a few more things on these very few amount of tiles, you know? I feel like let's use our bushes. Let's put those right there. And I did order a few more wheat fields for us to use, so why not? We could honestly just fill this in with the wheat fields. Well, I didn't really fill it in. I just put two. But I'm going to put a flower with a little dirt patch right here. Let's get a different color. Let's not do yellow because we have a bunch of yellow right there. You know what? Actually, I'm hating these wheat fields. I'm second guessing everything. Hold on. Okay, I rearranged them just slightly, I think. I don't even know if it made a difference. I'm going to go in with a little horseshoe custom design right here, just in between the wheat field and the flowers. And then I did have the idea of placing a little gyroid here instead of a food item. So, I mean, maybe it could be a food item. I won't tell. I think that's it for all of our builds today. Oh my goodness, we did four. Four whole builds today. Let's go back through them super quick. I just want to take a little look-see. So we finished Nooks. We got the little grocery store all built. Super duper cute. Love it. Simple decorations in the front. Our bushes are nice and grown in. Looks so adorable. We also did the museum, which is a little more on the simpler side, to be honest with you. But I do enjoy it. You know, honestly, I never... I never have big aspirations for the museum, so it's fine like this, to be honest. But then we have our little secret area back here. We've got our little secret island. So cute. I, I think this is my favorite one, to be honest. It is so adorable. And then south of the museum, we've got our flower field, which was basically very a very lazy decision. 
by me. I get at least one lazy decision per island. At, at the very least, okay? So this was my one choice. So that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I very much appreciate you. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe on your way out. I would very much appreciate it. Thank you so much again for watching and I will see you in the next one.